Hello everyone, it's Victor at the Waukegan Public Library. The library is now available for 15 minute appointments. So call us at extension 236. And if you need to fax an item, receive a notary, uh, scan an item, perhaps just use a computer for 15 minutes that can now be done. Today, I want to talk about an autobiography, what they meant for evil by Rebecca Deng. This tells the story of how Rebecca initially started as a four-year-old little girl who was enjoying her grandmother's cooking and the beautiful countryside. But then at the age of six, her life is dramatically interrupted by the South Sudanese Civil War. And in 1991, she is the survivor of the Boers Massacre. She ends up going to a refugee camp in Kenya where she lives the next eight years of her life. The food is very poor and there are a number of problems that are in the refugee camp, but she survives all of this through her church community group. She spends a lot of time discussing spirituality in the book and how this helped her with all the traumatic events that occurred. She ends up being adopted in the year 2000 by a family in Michigan. And she comes to the United States where she has to basically balance her new life as becoming an American citizen, which she does in the year 2006, but also maintaining her heritage from her original nation. So it's a difficult struggle, but she handles a lot of it through not only communities that she ends up joining, but she does a lot of writing. And she ended up writing about 200 pages until someone says, you know, you should really make a book out of this, which she ended up doing. And now she travels around speaking to people about the horrors that children and women go through when war hits their country. Uh, this is a very interesting and very gritty story. Uh, you really see what she went through and how she overcame it. So there is hope in the story. So if you're interested, please call the Waukegan Public Library at extension 236 and have a good night, everyone.